back behind the wheel. Martin Aisling, a sales rep from Washington, was able to drive just three weeks after undergoing surgery for a brain tumour. Nobody wants their top of their head taken off, do they? And uh, the thoughts of that, you know, you get to the stage even though you've got cancer, you sometimes think, well, do I really want that to happen? That would be horrendous, the fact that I couldn't drive for six months plus, really. And these are the surgeons at Newcastle's Freeman Hospital who carried out the operation. They're challenged to remove a tumour on the base of the brain the size of a walnut. They're among the very first in the UK to work this way. Instead of opening the skull and delving downwards through the brain itself to get to the tumour, they approached it by going up through the nose. Well, we used to do uh, an operation called a craniotomy, which essentially involves an incision across the top of the head, removal of part of the skull, and then going down, usually between the two halves of the brain. Um, the risks are higher in terms of stroke and epilepsy, which is the main deal with the driving, of course. Um, and it's, it's painful. It takes the patients a long time to recover. It's a much bigger deal. This is a procedure made possible not just because of the skill of the surgical team here. It's also thanks to the development of a tiny telescopic camera used to guide the surgeons. It's made a phenomenal difference and the fact that the cameras are now so small they can fit on the end of the telescope which allows all the members of the operating team to be able to see what's going on which again improves the, uh, the safety of the, uh, the procedure. So we get a fantastic panoramic view. These are two doctors with different skills working together at the cutting edge of surgery. They now hope to use the method in ever more complex procedures. This is something that we're trying to develop in our team in Newcastle, but as technology gets better and as people learn to use new technology better, there are more and more tumours that we can reach less invasively. This is an extension of what we've been doing for a number of years now, um, but to see Mr Asley make such a good recovery from what was a, 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 a new technique uh, for um, Newcastle, we were delighted to, um, to see it. Great advert for the NHS and a great advert for Newcastle, hopefully. Back at home in Washington, Mr Asling is recovering and looking forward to returning to work in September. It's marvellous what, the, what they've done and uh, I can't thank them enough. I've actually had three games of golf now in the last month, so that shows you how back to full fitness I am. And how is your golf? <laughs> Just the same old rubbish, but it gets me out and about. <laughs> Andrew Hartley, BBC Look North, Newcastle.